Good morning folks, it's Andrew here from Einhorn Travel Accessories and this morning we're going to bring you some footage from the Basler Fasnacht 2019 or the Basel Carnival 2019. So no one knows exactly when the folks of Basel started celebrating the Basler Fasnacht. The records and the documents that held that history were unfortunately destroyed in a devastating earthquake in 1356. So in fact the oldest document that we have dates back only as far as 1356. The Fastnacht itself goes back much further than that. Now the parade starts on the Morgensteich. It's the Monday after Ash Wednesday and it starts at exactly 4 a.m. in the morning. And what you can see here as we're walking down to the Altstadt is all of the various clickers getting prepared and getting ready for that start at precisely 4 a.m. Now, just about in a few moments here, all of these lights in the city are going to go out and the bands are all going to start playing the same tune at the same time. So I'm going to stop talking so you can watch that happen. I'd like to take the opportunity here to point out a couple of little things about uh, Fasnacht etiquette for foreigners like me. First thing is you can see those windows there. Somebody's left their lights on in the Altstadt and it really, you can see how much it detracts from the power of and the impact of all of those lights going out at once. And it casts a, a light upon the parade is there and it's not, not really appreciated by everyone who's there. So make sure you turn all of your lights off if you're living in the old stuff. The second thing is, in a moment here, you're going to see somebody start to take some flash photography. Um, again, you know, for those in the parade, they're marching there, it's dark, and then all of a sudden you've got someone flashing in their lights with a, with a camera. They really don't appreciate it. In fact, someone um, threw an egg at the person who was taking those flash photographs and the egg actually hit me, uh, which I didn't appreciate so much. But that's how much they dislike people taking flash photography, so please refrain from doing that if you're there seeing the, um, the parade. Now, a lot of people think that the Swiss don't have a sense of humour and that they're very, very serious. But the Fastnacht is really their opportunity to show you how funny they are. Because all of these floats that you can see here in the Fastnacht parade here in Basel are a little story about something that's gone on throughout the year that that particular clique finds funny. And basically, the, the float is decorated to take the piss out of whatever it is that they find funny. It could be Donald Trump, perhaps, or Kim Jong-un, as it has been in the past, or it could be something uh, that Russia did with Pussy Riot, for example. One year they had a funny float about that. Or it could be something that's happened much more locally. Um, so, you know, you've really got to keep up with local affairs if you want to understand the, uh, the humour behind a lot of these floats. But they go to great lengths, as you can see. They're incredibly colourful. And they actually hand out little sheets of paper which have got little rhymes and so on on there about, you know, this funny thing that they're taking this out of. And if you go to their um, killer where that clicker hangs out, they have these um, uh, sort of poetry readings, if you like, where they're reading out their funny little rhymes and tunes about these things that have happened throughout the year. Unlike a lot of other carnivals around Europe, the 
Basel of Fastnacht, there's a very strong delineation between those who are actually involved in the parades and those who are just watching. Elsewhere around Europe, everybody dresses up in funny clothes and costumes and everybody kind of gets in on the act. But in Basel, only those folks who are actually participating in the parade dress up. So if you're going to come to the Basel of Fastnacht and watch, don't get all dressed up, don't put on silly clothes, don't put on some sort of a costume because you're going to stand out and you're going to look like a twat standing on the sideline in some sort of costume if you're not actually participating in the, the carnival itself. Here we are the day after the night before and these little chaps that you can see here during the day are called the Vagis and the Vagis are really quite mischievous kind of fellows and they're dressed up in this traditional costume that really does represent the farmers from across the border in Alsace in France. You can see the, the red, white and blue there and they get up to all sorts of mischief. Uh, during the, the carnival and they're handing out sweets to kids and throwing confetti upon people who are not wearing a blaguette. Now another little piece of etiquette for the Basler Fastnacht, you can see the confetti uh, accumulated on the ground there. Uh, locally we call it the repli. Now you must not under any circumstances pick the repli up off the ground and start throwing it onto other people. It is simply not done. Usually this time of the year it's quite wet and rainy and there's all sorts of stuff on the ground and it's just it's not nice to be picking up crappy, dirty, soggy, wet, messy grappling and throwing it upon other people. So please, whatever you do, don't do that. And from the start of the cortege on the Monday morning, the Guga band start playing Guga music and it's a real fantastic aspect of fast art. So I'll let it play now just so you can hear the music. I really hope that you like this short video about the Basel Fastnacht. We've been to the Morgan Strike five out of the seven years that we've lived here and we really love it. If there are any Swiss folks watching this video, I hope I've got some of the facts right. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below if you want to correct me or add some points about this amazing um, event each year. I'd love to hear from you. Take care everybody.